We are making filo red köfte kebab. Yufkalı beyti kebabı. I'm gonna show how you can prepare as a centerpiece, give you ideas how to complete as a menu. Let's begin. Okay, I have my ingredients here. Some green peppers and tomatoes, onion for our kebab. And these tomatoes will go for the serving along with some other grilled peppers. Pul biber, chili flakes, black pepper some olive oil, tomato paste and also use a tomato puree I'm going to serve it with beautiful bulgur pilav very easy and a staple side dish in Turkish cuisine we have you can chop the ingredients by hand today since we are making it in a short time like in an hour it's gonna be ready I'm gonna use food processor First I want to make my ayva kompostosu as a side dish so it can cool down. I have two queens. You can use apple if you cannot find or if it's not the season. I core the inside, take out the seeds, the hard parts and cut them into cubes. To flavor I'm gonna add some cloves. And traditionally we don't add but going to add some hibiscus flowers it's optional just to give some color and also added a couple of pieces from the seeds to thicken a little bit to give some jelliness adding handful of raisins and boiled on medium low until the fruits are soft added sugar I added half cup, you can adjust to your taste. I would recommend to do it a bit sweeter than the final taste. Then add more cold water or ice cubes when serving. So this way it will have more juice in it. I'm gonna let it cool down and then continue to chill in the fridge. Next I'm making the köfte mixture for the beyti kebab. I'm cutting my veggies into big chunks just to help for the food processor. I have onion, green peppers and this beautiful flavorful red pepper. I'm going to pulse until everything is finely chopped but still has pieces to see, not a puree. Sometimes the veggies can release too much water so I wanted to drain them first and then we'll check how the mixture gonna be and use more if needed. Adding 500 grams ground beef, 2 heaped tablespoons breadcrumbs, 1.5 teaspoon salt and about teaspoon each black pepper and paprika. Mix everything well by hand or a stand mixer you can also use. The mixture wasn't that soft so I added the rest of the juice and decided to add one egg along with one tablespoon more breadcrumbs. To give an extra flavor to my beyti kebab I'm making a sauce to dampen my yufka sheets before I roll the kebab. Some chopped parsley, mix of water and uh, olive oil, pul biber chili flakes, some salt and paprika. Mix everything well and our uh, flavorful and colorful sauce is ready. So I have my ingredients ready, my kebab was very easy to bring together. I added egg but it's optional if you don't want, uh, you don't have to. This is the sauce 
I'm gonna use to dampen my yufka sheets. I wanted to use some spice, fresh parsley, so it's gonna be more colorful. You can also do it only by mixing water and vegetable oil or olive oil. Now I'm going to spread my yufka sheet, place from the kebab mixture, wrap it, cut. You can either bake in the oven or in my case I'm gonna use my air fryer. My filo sheets were a bit dry and broken from time to time but I was able to still shape it. I dampened with the sauce and fold from the side a little bit as you can see and place from the kebab mixture and roll tightly. Then cut from the middle first, bring them together and cut into about 3-4 cm thickness. I'm going to place them into skewers and since I'm gonna bake it in the air fryer I had to cut a little bit so they can fit. Just to give you an idea, in the next one I fold from the other side as well so it was even rectangular and continue to roll and cut. But if you are in the USA and Europe you might already have rectangular filo sheets so it will be easier and you can adjust the thickness by adding more layers before rolling. As you can see I placed them into skewers. Don't squeeze them too much. We want the heat to be able to flow from the each baiti kebabs so they can cook evenly be more crunchy. It's not gonna take much time to cook so I'm gonna keep it in the air fryer to cook close to serving time. Meanwhile going to make my bulgur pilavu. In a white pan I heated up vegetable and olive oil mixture, sauteing finely chopped medium sized one onion. Adding tablespoon each tomato and pepper paste and cook for a couple of more minutes. Then add the washed and drained bulgur and continue to saute for a couple of more minutes. To give an extra depth of flavor I decided to use my lamb tail fat that I have in the fridge. This is optional you can add some butter if you like or if using this really gives more deeper taste and aroma. For 2 cups of bulgur add close to 4 cups of hot water or meat stock, about 2 teaspoons of salt and let it simmer until the bulgur is soft. I shaped the leftover köfte mixture with the yufka sheets and going to freeze them to use another time. We are going to serve our beiti kebab with an extra tomato sauce. It is very easy to make. I heated up some vegetable and olive oil again, added tablespoon each tomato and pepper paste, use only tomato if you cannot find and added some hot water and a freezed tomato puree that I made. You can use ready or canned, half a teaspoon each salt, paprika, pulbiber and black pepper and let it simmer until all the flavors come together to have a thick sauce. My bulgur pilaf smells delicious, soaked all the water and soft. I'm going to rest and brew for 15 minutes before serving. Now I'm ready to bake my baiti kebabs. Going to bake in 165 Celsius degree for 20 minutes. If you're gonna bake them in the oven, make sure it is preheated. While they are baking, I'm gonna grill my tomatoes and peppers to serve on the side. Everything is done. I baked for about 20 minutes and it was perfect. Let me first get my bulgur pilaf. Gently fold and stir the rested bulgur pilaf to make it fluffy. 
and serve it to your plates. And in another copper plate I place the kebabs, drizzled from the tomato sauce and serve it with grilled pepper, tomatoes and gallops of yogurt. My compote is also chilled completely, ready to serve. It's still not Ramadan, so I can taste. Okay. It soaked all the tomato sauce and it is very delicious, not dry. I think it's better. But when you serve it right away, the crunchy layered yufka sheets will begin to soak the tomato sauce. It will be like a little bit crunchy and soft and delicious at the same time. Let me get from the composto. Here we have like spicy, buttery, hearty dish and then you get back to a like a soothing, flavorful, uh, cool fruit compote. Very delicious. You can complete it if you want to make a feast for crowds. You can make it in big batches in, and pop it to the oven. You can wait till the next day. I think you can add some light soup in the beginning if you like. Seasonal salad would also be nice. I have many desserts, revani or üç kaşık tatlısı. I'm gonna place it here. Would go well. I have many more to check on my channel. I'm gonna continue to share more recipes, special for Ramadan. So stay tuned. Make sure to give thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being in my kitchen. And see you next time. Afiyet olsun.